Welcome to another episode of Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today we'll be doing a turkey stew. Stay tuned. Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today we'll be doing a fall recipe, one of my favorites, which is a turkey stew today. You probably can notice all the stuff I got around me. Um, I got a little ham, um, a little turkey, cakes and pies, and a few vegetables around me today. Um, and I also have a little bit of rice, a little bit of soup. We're gonna have some soup today as well. Uh, with my new, I like it, my new pot here, it's cast iron pot. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, the turkey stew in it. Um, and all the ingredients calls for are carrots, celery, onion, green bell pepper, potatoes, a turkey stock, and turkey itself. I'm using all white meat on the turkey. Uh, a lot of people prefer a mixture of the two. Uh, I chose to do this off white meat. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started on the soup. The stew, I should say. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. My mind is on my uh, other soup I have over here, which is a, a acorn squash bisque. I hope people can see that out there. It's a yummy soup, and it's made from this vegetable right here acorn squash. All right. Uh, and I also have some plain white rice here today. We're going to serve that stew over top of the rice. And then that's going to be, mm, I don't know how to say it, just good. It's <laughs> the only way to say it, just good. You know, don't y'all out there agree? Yes. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Oops, my head falling off here. Losing my head. And it's so good. Give my uh, pot a few minutes to warm up there so I can put all my fresh vegetables in. Uh, typically, you start with your hard vegetables on this. The hard vegetables are your carrots. You start with those first to get them kind of tender and al dente. And then you go with your celery your softer vegetables, which are your onions and peppers. The potatoes, I pre-cooked the potatoes so it wouldn't take so long to cook in the stock, in the uh, stew, or uh, getting so used to saying stock. Uh, mm, I wish I had a piece of that cake. No, this no, is, no, no, no. No, no. no cake till after dinner. Uh, well, that makes sense, but you know. <laughs> This is my show, I can eat cake. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah. Well, that's okay, that's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and put my vegetables in there. Those are my carrots. Let them kind of get warm, marinate together there. Hopefully you get a chance to smell them, like Emma Lagasse say, smell a vision if you're out there in TV land. But the people's in this room here, they can smell stuff. I'm not sure this woman can smell almost anything. Um, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be a good show without you here. But then again, there have been some good shows. We have had some good shows. All right, we're heading into uh, the holiday season, and you probably noticed all the fabulous stuff we got on the table. Uh, just to let you know, I got pumpkin pie here, mm -hmm. pecan pie here, and a, uh, a coconut cake also. I'm gonna be the first to tell you, I'm not a baker. Um, I let the bakers bake and I, I, I cook. Um, try to be smart about it. 
you know, and I can bake some things, and I can do a little things, but the major stuff, I leave it to the baker. Let's see. I'm gonna add my bell pepper to it. I hope people can see it out there in TV land, and people that have done it in, in here can't. Can you smell it? Can anybody out there smell that? Not yet. Not yet. I wish I could bring it around and, and just show you and you know, let you look at that. Can y'all see that over there? Yeah. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. It would be. It would be. Oh no, we don't do microwave. Uh, well, we don't do microwave. Uh, I, that's one of the things I don't like. I don't like a microwave. I'm sorry. I'm used to the, the heat. Yeah. You may notice I don't have any salt, pepper, or anything like that. Stuff to run your sodium up. You know, yeah. And stuff. Because you got all the seasoning right here in the vegetables. Yeah. And, and also in the stock. A little bit of stock in there. As you can see, I got peppers and, and all the other seasoning that on the recipe in into the stock here. So that way, that way, all those flavors are marinate into the vegetables here. I cut my hair so my hat don't fit. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. So you know, when you got kids at home and getting close to the holidays, you kind of lose your hair. That, that's the that's that's the truth. And, and any parent out there knows what I'm talking about. You, you lose your hair. You got kids at home, you, and close to the holidays, you're going to lose your hair. Not all of us can pull it off as well as you can. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. But as y'all can see, let me take my wooden spoon out. You may notice I didn't, I didn't use this spoon. I don't want to stretch up all the metal on metal. But you can see this. I hope y'all can see that. Can you all see that? Oh. And I'm just letting those vegetables get tender and all that stock and that flavor get into the uh, vegetables. Yes, that, you're right about that. You're so right about that. And I'm not a cook. No. <laughs> I'm an eater. You're an eater. Nothing wrong with an eater. Nothing wrong with being an eater. You like the pot? Yeah. yeah. So when you're missing it, you know where it went. Well, well I hope it's going back with me. Uh, to be honest with you, Walmart. Walmart. You can find these at Walmart. Uh, in their section, it's under fifty. It's under fifty dollars. Yep. They might contribute to it. Well, I keep saying their name enough, huh? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, well, yeah, I may just do that too. Can't hurt. Can't hurt at all. You can smell it now. It smell good. Wait till you taste it over rice. I think rice is even better than the potatoes to put it on top of. Yes, yes, that's true. I hope our viewers out there can get a good color, good view of this. And, and that's the reason why I got this blue one. The reason why, because when you cook in it, you can see everything. If, if your 
pan is white and you put everything in there, you, you really can't see if you buy like me. I have to wear glasses to read stuff, but you know, you want to be able to see what you're working with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're learning a lot today. All right, I'm putting all the stock in there. And as it, as it come to a ball, then I add the potatoes to it. I hope people out there, y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Can you see it, Miss Bunny? Okay, okay. I'm going to put the lid on it so all those flavors in there can marinate together. And once it comes to a great, a good boil, once it comes to a good boil, then I'd add, add the potatoes. And after that, we're going to talk about the uh, soup I got over here. And we're going to let people taste it. All right, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. As I was mentioning, and you can see me put my gloves on, as I was mentioning um, about the, the stew, the turkey stew we have here. And then with the magic of TV, I went on to make some ahead of time so people can taste it. All right, and now I'm gonna add my potatoes to it. Ah, uh, boy, that looked just like heaven. <laughs> if I knew what heaven looked like, it must look like this. <laughs> All right. Mm, mm, mm. Let me pull a little bit up on that spoon so y'all can see that. You see how vibrant yeah. color that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good color. I mean, the vegetables are bright and they're tender and, and all kinds of good stuff there. Um, now, to tell you a little bit more about this, this is one of my fall favorite soups. Uh, it's a uh, bis, it's a acorn squash bis. And normally I would put some type of liqueur or something in it, but I didn't. This time it's all natural, um, made with the uh, vegetable stock. The squash itself been reduced, and a few fresh ground herbs like uh, thyme, ground it up, and uh, cinnamon, nut and egg, stuff like that in it, and let it just reduce. And I also added just a little bit of cream to it. All right, so this is going. This is one of my favorites. Okay. You guys ready to eat out there? I'm sure I am. I know I am. Like I like I did before. I I rarely taste food on air, but I'm gonna do it again. Let 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 our viewers out there know uh, that all this stuff out I, I, I do are fresh, fresh product. Uh, Occasionally you get some stuff that's frozen. This right here is that, that stew. I don't want to burn myself up here. Let me cut that down. And I got dark and white in here in this stew. And I'm just going to nap a little bit up across the top of the rice there. And whoa. That, that, I got big chunks of turkey in here. You can cut that turkey any, any size you like, but if you have any leftovers after Thanksgiving, instead of making that turkey sandwich all the time or that turkey salad, there's another alternative. You can make a stew with it, and you can also freeze that product and bring it out whenever you want some more That's stew. Yeah. You know, those dark meats, pick that turkey up, pick those bones, and, and, and make a stew out of it. All right. That way you save it. That, yeah, you're right. You're right. You save it. Use it every bit of it. Mm. 
leave me speechless. <laughs> it really leaves you speechless. So, I'm going to also eat again on the air and taste some of this soup, let you know. See that grin on my face. I normally I traditionally have a cracker or a bread or something to go with it, but I don't have that today. Because got, as you can see, so much other stuff up here <laughs> to choose from. Mm. Mm -hmm. Vividly smooth and, and delicious. All right. That's all for our show today. Also, I want to thank a few people that's out there that's helped help me with this show. The City of LaGrange, I'd like to thank them all year helping me with this show. Also, West Georgia Help System, also, West Georgia Help, I'm sorry, I should say that right. Uh, Vernon Woods Retirement Community, the home of the show where I, where I worked for a time and we decided to do this show here. And also, Grace Management, the people that I work for, I'd like to thank them for also allowing me to do this show in the wonderful people that's out here in the audience, the residents here, uh, for help, help supporting the show. Um, I hope people will watch it more. And if you see me out in the community, more than welcome to talk to me about the show. Thank you.